Baby Yoda, do you enjoy your new adventures in Season 3 of The Mandalorian? No, you don't, but you'll have more toy friends and more merchandise to talk to. Why? Why would you even say that? Welcome, friends. I am the man you may know as Z, and I am joined by Baby Yoda, guest special host of this, my brief review of Season 3, Episode 1, The Apostate Mandalorian. And I really just wanted to talk about it for a couple of reasons. My initial reaction was that this was terrible, and I was absolutely floored at how bad the writing was how awkwardly paced it was. And when I watched the end credits and I saw that John Favreau had written this, I was like, what? I was as astonished. Then I took a step back and I started to think about it. And I've decided, I made a decision that Mandalorian's a kid show now. It's no longer necessarily for adults. I mean, if you, if you like it, you like it. I get it. But I'm going to point out some reasons as to why this show is for kids, and you're looking at one of them right here. So let's look at some, uh, at least one article. Now, this article is from The Verge, and they, they're, they're lauding how Mandalorian Season 3's premiere was a return to a simpler, safer Star Wars storytelling. Safer. Did you feel safe, Baby Yoda? I felt pretty safe. Now, this will have some spoilers, but what I really, I'm just trying to illustrate either the really terrible story writing or the fact that it's supposed to be like darts all over the place because it's supposed to be amusing for children, not for adults. And the only thing that was a little weird to me is if you did not watch The Book of Boba Fett, which I did and I reviewed probably up here somewhere, um, you did not see the book of Mandalorian Mandalorian season 2.5 and you're going to miss a lot of plot you're going to see a lot of stuff and you'll be like uh when did Mando get a new ship uh when did baby Yoda come back what I've heard I've watched other reviewers and they were like hmm I must have missed something here you came back you certainly did and um so you're going to miss a bunch of things but the first part I thought that they're they're making a mask for the for a new Mandalorian, not new Mandalorian, whatever. I guess he's a Mandalorian. I still don't know why they call this guy Mando. It seems like a racial slur to me. But uh, they're making a new mask and they're giving it to a kid. And here, I thought it was Di uh, Jin Joran, whatever his name is, Mando. I thought it was him as a kid getting his first mask, and them kind of giving you more backstory on why he has to wear the mask and why he's so obsessed with getting back in with his old like Mandalorian peoples. I get it, but they didn't do that. They, 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 it was a different kid, and they get attacked by a giant alligator. And the Mandalorian, I mean, the Mandalorians kind of suck. If you have a giant alligator and you live on this planet, you clearly would have seen a giant alligator before. You, you don't shoot the thing with grappling hooks and not expect it to death roll. It just it does, doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand. I don't even know why they're standing by the river if they know there's enormous alligators there. That seems like a real bad idea. Uh, but Mando comes and saves the day. Okay, fair enough. And then he gets sent on his first of many, many fetch quests. And this is where it's it's real strange. And I just, it started to, to occur to me, like, this is just kind of goofy, and it's supposed to be for kids. And it even says in this article, this focused on forging the next generation of young Star Wars faithful. This is not for adults. This is not for those fans. They're, they throw they throw in a couple member berries. You know, they're like, look at this from Jabba's Palace. And, you know, Mando goes back to the original town that I guess we found him in. And he meets with uh, uh, Carl Weathers, Grief Cargo. And he's got two little robots holding his robe. Like, that's supposed to be like a funny joke. It's not that funny, but to kids, they might think that that's hilarious, that a, two little robots are carrying this dude's cloak. So then they, they get into this absolutely ridiculous dialogue about like, here, you can carve yourself out a plot of land. And then they're like, well, let's go walk outside and let's not. And then there's pirates. And the pirates look like pirates out of the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the Davy Jones's locker one. Like, 
I, I'm not, not even sure what's, and they're fighting over whether or not they're going to have a drink in a school. I'm like, what? what is going on with this whole thing? So then he decides, in order for him to move on with his quest, once he gets rid of the pirates, uh, he wants to repair his old buddy, I, the assassin droid, IG whatever, IG-88, or is it IG-11? I, for, I forget which robot it is. Um, but then they reintroduce us to Babu Frick's family, or a bunch of Babu Fricks. Whole boatload of Babu Fricks. Every Babu Frick you could ever want. And like they're talking through a little door, which is supposed to be hilarious. I'm sure it's amusing to children. It was not amusing to me, but I'm sure it's amusing to children. And you would have, here you have him sitting in the tiny room with them. Because that, that was the whole purpose, so they could get the one shot. And, you know, Carl Weathers translating the Babu Fricks, even though that Mando can understand them. All of that, it's just it's just kid joke stuff. Like, it's it's not funny. Or it's an, it's a, it's an old man, <laughs> John Farvo, writing a, a story for in his mind w would be for kids right so then they show like baby yoda and he's looking up you know grogu's looking up and he see like with the wonder and he sees the whales inside this this space and they have the, they have a cool space battle i'm all right with that whatever but he goes ah oh, you got tar a cargo you know target lock on them here, I can directly can't contrast this with Andor, which had one of the coolest space battle scenes I think I have ever seen in Star Wars, almost, period. Uh, if you missed Andor, a lot of people don't. It's very slow burn. You got to like that type of thing, but it has one of the best f season finales I've seen in anything ever, at least in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but it was very serious take on Star Wars, maybe a little too serious. Uh, but there's definitely uh, a, a, I, there's a, a battle scene where uh, there's a ship that's about to get captured, and he has these devices that help him escape from a uh, tractor beam, and it does like all this crazy stuff, and it's just an amazing battle, crazy like great special effect, everything just looks brilliant. And then in this, it's like, uh oh, Mando's gonna get shot. They have target lock, and then he's just nope. We're gonna, don't trust pirates, kid. And then he hits a button and just flies right past them. Like okay, it didn't even matter. Yeah, you know, I just felt like everything was to show off like new toys. Like oh, Baby Yoda really loved Babu Fricks, so he's you get him, get him a Babu Frick he can hang out with the little friend. You know, I've got the the Baby Yoda with the little frogs that he can eat the little frogs. Well, now he can eat the Babu Fricks. And uh, space pirates get the new space pirate ships and the space pirate set and the you know the space pirate capital ship and you know so uh, I still don't think it was very good but I understand what they're doing uh, they're taking their one hit and they're hoping that they can pick up some fans and especially young fans so they're they're going to cater to the young kid audience. You know, it had a lot of, like, Western tropes and, and stuff, but it's not very sophisticated. And compared to Andor, it's it's like, it's just strange to see, like, they're just struggling with Star Wars. So, my opinion, pretty bad episode. It's not terrible television. Um, I just think when the bar, it like, just keeps getting lower and lower. Like, the first season was fun. Second season was not too bad. Season 2.5 in in uh, the Book of Boba Fett wasn't too bad. Book of Boba Fett was terrible. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi was terrible, terribly written, written by amateurs. But John Farver to come in with this, unless he's deliberately writing it for kids, which I'm going to believe, I, I just, just wasn't very good. Um, looks great. I mean, the special effects look better than most of what's what, what they're doing. The volume didn't look super duper duper terrible. It looked a little bad in the Mandalorian, like in the first part with the Mandalorians and the giant crocodile, but what are you going to do? Anyway, that was my opinion. Let me know what you think. Are you still on board? Are you going to get, I think I'm going to get bored with this season because he's just going from one place to the next to fetch this, to fetch the robot part, to fetch the thing, to go in the mines, and then it felt more like a video game, dialogue, clunky, gonna give it i don't normally give it ratings i just don't recommend it you're not gonna enjoy this season if it continues like this we'll see could be completely wrong i have been wrong before but thank you so much for listening and watching we appreciate you so much 
Baby Yoda says goodbye. He says he'll see you on the next one because we are on to the next one. <laughs>